So something fundamental when you want to be efficient on the Linux command line is to be able to rerun the same command on multiple uh, things such as files or lines of a file or something. So in this video we'll go through two ways you can do that. So the first is by using the xargs command. Um, and xargs work, works in this way that if you have the output of a command, say for example you have ls or let's have ls star dot text to just uh, get the text files in our current folder. So then we can pipe that to xargs. And what xargs takes as its first argument is another command that it will execute for each of these files. And then it will add each of these files as the first argument to that command. So basically uh, cut will be executed four times with each of these file names as its first argument. So let's try that. Okay, so we get the content of all these text files in one long go here. Maybe not that readable, so we might want to separate the output from each file from each other with maybe uh, some marker or something. And that is not that easy to do with xargs. So that leads us to number two here, using for loops. With for loops you have quite a bit more flexibility on how, how what you want to do for each file. So let's clear the terminal here with control L. Uh, and uh, let's do a for loop and try to do the same thing that we did just before. So the syntax for for loops is for and then we add a variable name that we we'll, we will use for each item that we're looping over. So we're looping over files actually. For file in. And then comes the command from which we will use the output. So we wanted to use the output from ls star.text. And we place that uh, command inside dollar sign and parentheses. And then we need to close this for statement with semicolon and then add a do statement to tell that now we're telling what to do with each item. Um, and uh, finally we add done after we're done and a semicolon. So here inside we will do something. Uh, and let's do just cat and dollar file. So we're referring to the variable name here and add a semicolon, so three semicolons. So for each uh, file name that we get from the ls star.txt uh, command, we, we do cut of that file name. So let's try that. Right, we get the same as before. So let's clear the terminal and edit our previous command a little bit. So let's, for example, add uh, um, line, a short line of uh, dashes just before each of those files. Like this. Okay, we have a little line here now between each file. Let's clear the terminal and uh, maybe we can even put in the file name there as well. File and add a few dashes. So now we have the file name here as well. And maybe we could also add a little space just above and below this separator. So let's add an empty echo statement before and an empty echo statement after. Okay, let's clear the terminal first and rerun it. Okay, now we get quite a bit more readable output. We see the file name and the content of each file. So that's all for, for this video. This course is part of my online course on Linux command line productivity techniques. So if you like the content, you might want to check the course out as well. So you can find a link to the course right here on the video or just type udemy.com slash command dash line dash productivity. So udemy.com slash command dash line dash productivity. Thank you.